do different things so I'm going to be going to Ikea and picking a couple things up and just doing a bunch of other stuff so I'm gonna bring you guys with me but before we get started with that I just want to give a little shout out to Lifesum because they are making this video possible and if you guys don't know what Lifesum is I've already showed it so many times I'm gonna put something right here so you guys can see a little overview of what the app is I've talked about it many times on my channel just because it is something that I personally use all the time Lifesum is basically a health app it helps you track the food that you're eating the exercise the water intake which is what I'm gonna be talking about most today I'm gonna to be showing y'all the gag you need to get as much water in your system as possible, sis. I always, I know this is like really weird, I always get like a cup of water and I fill it up <laughs> and I put it in the fridge so when I wake up, I know that I'm gonna like chug it down because I need to get all my water in. And then what do I do? I go on the Lifestyle app and I tap that I drink my glass of water. But basically, you guys, I cannot stress the importance of water. I know so many people ask me, Vanessa, what do I do for pimples? What do I do for my hair? What do I do for my nails? Blah, 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 my overall health, my overall skin. You guys need to be drinking at least eight cups of water a day. I recommend drinking 10, just so you know, get the fluids going. Your body runs on water. You need to drink water. I know a lot of people love to, you know, drink juice and shit, but you guys, it's not good for you. I personally only drink water or fruit punch. <laughs> But I make sure that I get all my water in. So make sure you guys do as well. We are about to go. I'm going with my mom because most of my friends have real jobs. So <laughs> let's go with my mom. Every time I go through that tunnel, I have to hold my breath. And yesterday I did it. This is my mother, by the way. Weird. Say hello. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> yesterday I we went in the tunnel and I held my breath all the way down the freeway though. No, like, I, my biggest fear is drowning. So I like practice my breathing all the time and I practice like, I, I can go in a pool and sink to the bottom and sit there for like five minutes. Like, I'm not gonna drown if I'm on a cruise ship and it goes down. I'm going to live. Everyone else is gonna be down there. No, I will be surviving. I will be surviving. I will swim back to the shore. I will find a way. But we are almost there. We're we're actually going to Ikea first because... So it's by the, it's the 202, we're getting on the 202 or what? No, you're staying on the I-10 East for 12 more miles. Okay. But we are going to Ikea first because we're going to be like an hour early and we're not trying to do that. So we're just going to go to Ikea and then get my chairs, get anything else that I see that I want um, for my house. I kind of have an idea of a couple things that I might need. Um, what I do need is some water. I'm currently, oh, here we go. But if you know, like I said, you track, or I track my water on my Lifesum app. This is only half a bottle, so I'm not gonna track it until I have another half. <laughs> they just dropped everything out of their car. So we made it to Ikea, the home of the cheap. Love it. Let me give you guys a little bit of an outfit of the day. So. <laughs> So my top is from Fashion Q. I got it for seven dollars, and my pants, my pants are from PacSun. My same. Where are they from PacSun? No, they're from Urban Outfitters. These are the ones that I always freaking tear. Look, you guys, body, no face tune. Can't fake this. <laughs> I can tell that you make it me. So I got these chairs. They are basically just like some plastic. Nope. This one, and yeah. this one, and this one, and that one. Basically. So as you can see, your girl got a hot dog. Every time I go to Ikea, I gotta get that hot dog. And then I got my water bottle. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the app. Add one hot dog. There we go. Let's go over here, and I'm gonna mark for a water bottle that's so freaking cute the little animation and as you guys can see i got five more to go until the girl is set for the day so now as i have my son in the back seat we are about to go to the school what is going on with my hair y'all i have not washed my hair for like a week like since y'all saw that morning routine was the last time i washed my hair who's georgetown texas I don't. 
on our way to my future school. I'm gonna go check it out. Hopefully I like it because if I don't like it, I'm not gonna go there. I'm just gonna go to another one. I have options. Arizona has many schools, but this is one of them that I want to go to. Um, so we're gonna go do a little tour. Your girl's gonna eat. here unfortunately I'm not gonna well not even unfortunately fortunately I'm not gonna be showing what school I'm gonna be going to because I don't need that I already come on son <laughs> I have a child now as I said no. so I just got out of the meeting no. and I already want to drop out <laughs> so he, he said he's like you're gonna have no time and I was like but I just do YouTube no Okay. No time at all. True. This is a really hard. I have to do this though. <laughs> he said I need to come more conservative next time. I may or may not have my butt out right now. Oops. I know. That's why I'm like, um, you might have a hospital like that. So. Well, due to my newfound depression, thanks to college. Um, I am at Barrow's Pizza and I'm about to eat a pizza and some traditional wings, so... So, I just finished up my food. I got some leftovers. I got some lemonade. Got some lemonade. Um, I'm going home now. My mom's dropping me off. And I'm probably just gonna play video games and edit this video and just relax and realize my future is not as bright as I thought it would be. There's honestly nothing better than, you know, having a long day and coming home to your dog shitting all over the house. That's why she's hiding. <laughs> and eating all your lollipops and destroying all of your concealers. A beautiful time and a beautiful way to come home. So I'm about to put all of my stuff in on the app for today. So at dinner I had some chicken wings. Yes, yes, chicken wings. And I only ate three of them. And I also had a slice of Pizza, pepperoni pizza. Damn! A thousand. Shoot. Oh, wait, that's as if I ate the whole pizza. Pizza slice. But that's basically all I had. And then I had a cup of water. And then I just got another one that I'm about to finish. So, your girl needs three more glasses of water. Like, I'm telling you guys, this app is very, very handy. Especially if you're somebody who, you know, doesn't know how to track everything. As you guys can see, there's so many different freaking recipes. They have protein rich, low carb, gluten free, healthy fat, dairy free, clean eating, dinner, lunch, high protein. They have so many different like, options for recipes. I just wish that I would, you know, make more of an effort. Definitely one day I will get, okay, this is easy to make. Avocado and toast, very simple. You guys, I had a phase where I actually was making like these different recipes and stuff and well, now we're here again. I find it hilarious that she knows she's in trouble like I don't understand why Like pets do bad things and then when you come home, they're like fuck like I'm about to get in trouble Like I know what I did. So what was the point? I know she's just a baby Penny is only 11 months um, Her birthday's in a couple of days. She'll be one so I you know I understand that she is a baby so she's not gonna understand but still, it's it's getting a little nerve-wracking at this point. Please give me dog tips, you guys. No, I'm not giving her away or giving up on her. She's she's my daughter. But please, somebody give me like pet tips. I have been waiting for my washer and dryer to be delivered since I moved here. You guys, I have been here for almost a month. <laughs> and this these two box the box and the suitcase are full of like dirty laundry. And I know some people might be like, girl, go to the laundry mat. I'm sorry, I'm not about to sit there and wait like an hour. And I don't trust people to leave my clothes there. Yes, I could also go somewhere and have someone do my clothes for me, but I don't need nobody touching my drawers. I'm just not the kind of person that could just have someone else do their laundry. Like there's literally like people, like there's some YouTubers who get like assistants and stuff to do their laundry and do all that stuff. Bitch, I don't need you touching my underwear. I don't need you touching my bras. Don't touch my socks. Don't touch my shirts. I'm just the kind of person that like I don't like for people to touch my clothes. 
So like I would never be able to do that. Like I have to do it myself. I was also raised to do it myself. I make videos. <laughs> Life ain't that hard. People act like they make videos. They get a couple million subscribers and they suddenly need assistance. They suddenly need uh, people doing their laundry, editing their videos for them. When bitch, you were doing the same thing when you went 100,000 subscribers. So I really just don't understand how everything just got so difficult all of a sudden. I got some stuff from Ikea, I got my chairs, so I need to build those. Honestly, I'll probably do it when I'm like bored in the middle of the night or something, but I ain't doing it right now. Go ahead, drink, eat your food. <laughs> I, honestly, like I don't even stay mad for more than like 10 minutes. So now I am going to talk to my friend Marcus. Say hi to my vlog. Hi. <laughs> Follow him on Instagram at bitchy tweets. And yeah, like we're gonna probably play Friday or something, and which is Friday the 13th, you guys. It is such a fun fucking game, and that's probably gonna be my night. So if anything else happens. I'll let you guys know, but you just see theme accounts for the win. <laughs> shut, shut up. I'm going to be having a meetup on November 4th at the clothes store in the Glendale Galleria Mall, which is in LA, California. I'm going to be there from 1 to 3 o'clock, so you guys should definitely click the link in the bio to get your tickets. It's free. The only reason we have tickets is because we want to see how many people are coming, so it's just like an RSVP thing. It's free to come. Bring your mom, bring your friends, bring your grandma. So. I'm gonna be doing a little meet up there. It's free, like I said, so we could all hang out and stuff. And I know a lot of people were like, Vanessa, the tour, like I'm pissed off now because I was gonna go see you, blah, 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 blah. Well, sis, now you get to come see me for free. So, come say hi. So now that I have some actual lighting to record a clip, because you guys, the entire way here was shitty driving and I, ch or shitty drive. Yes, that, <laughs> I cannot drive for shit. <laughs> The entire way I was trying to like set my camera up somehow and it kept failing because there was like a streak of light just like shining on my freaking face but I'm at Zach's house right now I'm waiting for his his ass to come outside um, you guys might recognize him he is Barbie guts on Instagram and YouTube subscribe check him out if you are trying to you know learn how to do makeup because Lord knows I can't teach you my bitch has a look on I see a look an outfit, a piece, yes. <laughs> Hi to my vlog. Hi everyone. Can we do like a little outfit of the day? Yeah. Yes. So this is what I'm wearing. A pants are from House of CB. Top is from ASOS. Belt is off white. Jacket's from Zara. Hat is from Thrift Store. You know I'm a thrifter. Yes, yes, a look, a look. <laughs> Drink your water. There has never been a day that I've hung out with Zach and he doesn't have a water bottle. You always have like a full Stay water bottle girlies. With you. for the skin. For uh -huh. the skin. Get into it. So I forgot my damn camera in the car, and I love how when I just want to vlog, I forget it. it makes no sense. Damn. But I got a pumpkin spice latte. I've never had this before. Honestly, it tastes like every other freaking Starbucks drink. And then you got the usual green tea. My usual green tea latte with soy milk, two pumps of sweetener. <laughs> very extra. Yeah, very neat. But honestly, it tastes like everything else I've ever tried. The guy in Nordstrom said that he liked my outfit. And he asked me, where'd you get it from? And I was like, it's mine. I said she's and a clothing it, designer. Clothing designer. A bit of a designer. But yeah, we're just walking around the mall. Like honestly, it's so dead in here. It's usually like full of people, but I love it. We own the mall. Yeah. Like, we shut it down just for us. Private private shopping stuff. Exactly. <laughs> so we're gonna have a bit of a real talk right now. So if you saw the clip, you saw that I went to my little like medical thingy. Um you guys, that school that I was trying to go to is one of the top schools. Um they were the number one school, but I think like U of A passed them or something last year. But, like, this is a serious thing, and they told me that it was going to take, like, 80 hours of my day, or of my day, yeah, as if there's 80 hours in a day. They told me it was going to take, like, 80 hours out of my week, um, I was going to have no time for YouTube, I'm not going to have time for this, I'm not going to have time for that, and my thing is, like, YouTube, just, like, I'm so grateful that I was able to turn a hobby into, you know, something I could live off of. And I'm very, very grateful and I appreciate you guys and all your support because you keep me alive, literally. But, like, if I'm unable to do YouTube, then what am I to do? Like, then I'm basically, like, stuck. So, my mom was telling me, um, 
that she thinks I can do it. She believes in me, but she thinks that I should probably do something not as harsh. And the only reason, like, I definitely want to be a nurse because it is a rewarding career. You are helping people and it is, you know, it is going to pay well. And then after that, I want to get my BSN and then I want to become a physician's assistant and then eventually become a physician. Like, yeah, all that can happen, but it's also 13 years of school. And it's also like, I didn't get to go the traditional route like a lot of people. Some people, you know, they go out of high school, they go straight into, uh, you know, college, university, go to medical school after that. So, I didn't go that traditional route. You know, I did a year and a half of college. I left for a year and a half. And then, now I'm here. So, I didn't just get to do that full, like, ride kind of thingy. So, now it's just, like, really weird and it feels strange going back to school. And I love YouTube, which, like... Yes, of course, like I said, it is kind of my job in a way, um, but, like, I don't know. Like, I really don't know. There is other careers that I want to do. This is just one of them. I did say in the vlog that I was going to go look at the school, and if I didn't like what I heard, or if I didn't like the whole idea of it, then I wasn't going to go. Um, and I really have to think about it, because, like I said, it is going to take a lot of time, and the school is an hour and a half away from my home, and I would have to leave every single day at 4.30 in the morning to get to school on time. So it's like, ugh, I don't know what to do, and it's going to be an everyday thing. So I'm going to have, you know, I'm going to have to wake up at like 3 or 3.30 in the morning every single day, and then come back home at 9 p.m., he said. Like, it, like, it's just gonna be so stressful, and I really, like, I have so much anxiety. I don't, like, I'm not really dealing with depression right now, um, but I have so much anxiety that, like, I know that, like, if I were to put that pressure on myself, it's going to crumble. There are definitely other career paths I want to take. I was either gonna start this nursing thing, get into forensic science, um, something with criminology because I'm so into that you guys like if you are my friend You know that I watch all these like CSI shows everything about the FBI um, Quantico Bones Rizzoli and Isles. I think I pronounced that right um, Hannibal shows like that like I'm so into it, and I feel like I would be so good at it like I just feel like I'd be so good at it and it is an option that I can go to a school um, only 40 minutes away versus an hour and a half and I could take afternoon classes and I'm, I'm gonna get paid more than nursing and it's less work so I mean I definitely have options because I am passionate about both those things I want to do this but I also want to do this so I am like happy that I have other things my mom really wants me to go to business school too because I'm already doing businessy things um, so, I don't know. Your girl has to think about it. I'm not going to go to school until 2018, so I definitely still have, um, like a couple of months to decide, but I would like to know my plan by the end of November so I can be prepared and have like a month before school starts. Um, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, should I stress myself out and try this whole medical school thing? Um, and by the way, it is $60,000. <laughs> Should I go to medical school and stress myself out and, you know, have the possibility of wanting to drop out because I'm going to stress myself out? Or should I go, like, the more fun route, which is um, forensic science? Because I would love to be, like, the person that goes and gets, like, the little hair samples and tests the blood. Like, I have no problem taking all these, like, physics and, like... Like, at first, I didn't really like that stuff, but, like, I'm so down to learn everything about biology, chemistry, all of that. Like, I'm down for the cause. So I feel, honestly, like I just answered my own question. I literally just like answered my own freaking question. Like I could literally go like the fun route. Yes, it is gonna be hard work because chemistry, college chemistry is not easy. And then I also have to take trigonometry and college calculus. So it's not gonna be easy, but I feel like I'd have a better time and it'd be more fun. And it also like, they have a crime scene lab where you're gonna go and like, you know, do all of that. Like it would just be really fun, so. I don't know, we'll see, and the fact that my friend is like laughing on the phone, like to himself right now, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to diagnose him with something, but yeah, I don't know, that's the end of this vlog, I just wanted to talk to you guys, like, please give me your opinions below, are you in medical school, um, was it worth it, did you finish, like, cause I like, I'm coming at y'all, like, you guys come at me with advice, or ask me for advice, so I'm asking you for advice now, have any of you went through that? 
Did you finish? Was it worth it in the end? Um, because I really don't know. I have, you know, a little, I have a while to decide, but I don't know. Like, I, my mom keeps telling me, she's like, you're only 20 years old and you're, like, stressing out like you're fucking, like, 40 and you don't know what to do with your life still. But, like, I'm 20, but I feel about 28 and I feel like I need to hurry up because, and, like, have a family and, like, pay all their bills and everything. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm just stressing out for my future, I feel like. Which is not a bad thing because, you know, we, we need success, sis. But, yeah, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I'll probably see you tomorrow on my channel. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me and just being amazing and freaking awesome. Um, probably my next video will either be a haul or another get ready with me because I know you guys really like those. So, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. <laughs>